Right, hello everyone. Well, here we are at my favourite hotel at the moment, which is based on the uh, Dolomite scenery. We're in the uh, R66, and I wanted to have a look at a program I'd actually forgotten about, which is quite useful for these mountainous areas uh, and places like Innsbruck and things like that. So if we jump back inside, we have, as usual, a wonderful Avi tab, which we can zoom in, do all sorts of wonderful things with, and uh, is one of the greatest things in x -Plane. I think that and the GTN 750 uh, rank as some of the best add-ons or bits that are put in helicopters that I enjoy flying. Um, over this side we have a terrain map which isn't bad but a long while ago I had actually found a program called Airspaces. Now this program you can find Airspaces, I'll put a link into the um, text on the YouTube thing and this is a program that's not actually supported anymore but will enable you to overlay a map on a flat screen like this but you can also do it in VR as well grab it pin it into into the virtual headset and use it as you're flying and as you can see it shows where we are here but it's one of the only programs that will also enable you to do a Google map image of where you are not only that but when you're flying it will also leave a track to show where you've been now in this particular scenario um, if we zoom right out or make this full size you can see the detail and it's a it's a great shot but actually in terms of flying it's actually not the easiest thing to follow so if you actually go to Google terrain here and you wanted to plan a trip through the mountains or head somewhere where you didn't know um, you know we've got a bit of water over there we can fly up through this pier here long there down or vice versa over the top um, it is a very very good program just to have sitting there on the flat screen the habitat is great but this sort of shows the mountains better than the route that you're going to take so let's get going we're in the r66 um, and uh, forgot to put the throttle on of course get that up to speed let it warm up a bit and we'll take off and see if we can sort of follow one of these canyon routes or something. So get airborne. And you'll see first of all while we're in this sort of um, not moving along or hover type mode it might spin round a few times the helicopter logo before it decides uh, the direction we're actually heading in. So let's get some forward speed going and we'll head this way. Put some trim on. So we're going across the water there you can see we can zoom in closer if we want to. But what I'm hoping is that we're, by the look of it, as we turn right here, you can see the mountainous area, a nice flat area there for landing on if you wanted to go that route, or if we spin round. If 
we can head back down across the lake. And I'm going to say past that fantastic hotel. As I mentioned in one of the blogs or forums, I think it's one of the best buildings in X Plane there is. So you can see the route is showing that we went out, we doubled back, we can follow this canyon down here. And it keeps up quite accurately. Now when you go to the Airspaces site, I think their main function is more to do with planes in sharing airspace so that you can all fly together and see each other. And you can say take out, um, I think, a subscription or buy your own sort of airspace area for you if you want to fly as a group. That's the way I understand it. But if you look about halfway down the list of uh, programs and menus on the front page, you'll see that there's a desktop app and it will have the wording underneath it, I don't support this program uh, any further. And that is the little airspace map that I'm running here that enables us to overlay not only um, the topography that we're seeing here but also if you wanted to the actual Google map over the top and as I've mentioned just previously you can grab it I'm not sure how you do it in other headsets but with the Rift you can go in grab it off the desktop pull it into your VR um, sort of position inside the helicopter and the only problem I'm going to say with it is that it's difficult to resize and get in exactly the right space it does take a fair bit of tinkering with when you're doing it flat screen like this um, you can just see it it works and it's a great little program um, when you're trying to do it in VR, it does take a bit, fair bit of messing about, but does look good and works a treat. So let's just see. Uh, I've managed to. Whenever you hit a button or anything, because you're running it in as a tab you have to call it back in there's probably a way of fixing it which I'm not aware of but it's just to show you how good that looks and as I say if we go to Google Maps we don't crash in the meanwhile zoom in a bit closer there we go so let's head off over here and you can see from the Google map gradually heading up but it's a bit dark it, it it's a bit like the habitat there on the left it doesn't really show you the detail I don't think that this version shows you so I'm expecting as we come over the top we can see the lake in front of us there. Let's drop down. I 
and a real mix you know the Abitab is still the number one thing I think for most of us when you're flying in these rocky areas this other airspace is one you might find if you sort of just want to go off fly around investigate the area plan your route through the mountains and then we're not going to go right up in the mountains if you want to go home and you're not using navigation as in the back home button we can just turn around and follow the strip or the stripe back to where we started from and also in some of these areas as well especially the mountainous regions it's very easy while you're exploring to sort of end up going around the same part over and over again um, with this particular airspace and the fact it's left a line you can certainly make sure you cover all the different areas for that particular location and as I say it's a free download so if you like your little plugins or toys and it does work in VR um, might well be worth uh, giving it a try so I'm taking the longer wider route now back down the middle looks like it says there's a camping site and a lot of names that I can't pronounce there And again, the R66, it's a lovely helicopter to fly. If it seems a little bit jerky, it's because uh, once again, I've got the springs back on the uh, joystick and I'd forgotten to um, sort of bind them up. So I'm trying to hold it on a constant spring tension. And as everyone knows who watches my videos, I've got very shaky hands and it's not quite as easy so it's not as smooth as it could be and I can't be bothered putting the autopilot on or anything else so we can see down here bottom right I should be turning left if I want to go back home get a little bit of height And I think certainly if you were up in the mountains, flying around, you might find a little program like this useful for your exploration or exploring the area. Or if you just want to see the Google map of where you're flying over without having to come out go into a browser you can just use this and uh, switch the Google part on and do the usual 
look, I can see my house from here. So it's taken a bit longer to get back than I expected. I didn't realise we'd flown that far. But I think you can see bottom left just coming in. The lake. That was probably because I'd mistakenly put the autopilot on and forgotten about it. So, here we go. There's the hotel. Start putting the brakes on. We're just going directly over the landing pad area there. Overcooked it a bit there. Try and get into a hover without shaking too much. There we are. And that is probably the only downside of this program. Just backing it up there so you can see it a little bit better. That you do lose a bit of the view. From your cockpit view. But... amazing going back to having a spring in the uh, joystick this fight at the moment to get it to go forward where normally I've just can get it to go straight in without the springs on so it looks like I've got it won't be lining up with the H but at least it might be a gentle landing and then back home again so it only leaves me to say thank you very much for watching the video as usual. Um, press the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, I'll leave a link for the airspaces. It's a great little program. And again, let me just show you the Google Maps or satellite view that you can have and full page. And you can zoom in. There is a new replay mode that you can replay it. I haven't played with it yet. You can change up here between airplanes, light aircraft and so on. You have the ability to hide the trace, clear it if you want to, and here's the new one, enter replay mode. So it looks like we've got some buttons down the bottom there and I'm sure Pressing that will gradually go off and draw the area uh, where we've just been. But I ha have never used it before, I only noticed it today. So, I hope you enjoyed it and um, take one last look from the outside. This wonderful scenery. And there we are. And I'll see you all next week.